Mastering Electronics Import Rules from Germany. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing the customs regulations for importing electronics from Germany. If you're planning to import electronics, it's crucial to understand the customs requirements and processes involved. So, let's dive right in. The first thing you need to know is that when importing goods into the United States, you are required to clear customs. Customs clearance involves meeting certain regulatory requirements set by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP. These regulations ensure the safety and security of the country while facilitating international trade. One of the essential aspects of importing electronics is obtaining a customs bond. A customs bond acts as a guarantee that you, as the importer, will comply with all customs requirements and pay any applicable duties and taxes. This bond is necessary for customs clearance and must be obtained from a qualified surety company. Another key aspect of importing electronics is filing an Importer Security Filing ISF, also known as the 10 plus 2 filing. This filing requires you to provide detailed information about the containerized shipment before it arrives in the United States. The ISF includes data such as the seller, buyer, origin of goods, and container information. Failure to file or inaccurate filing can result in penalties or delays in customs clearance. It's important to note that customs regulations can vary depending on the type of electronic goods you are importing. Some electronic products may require additional certifications or licenses to comply with safety and regulatory standards. It's crucial to research and understand the specific requirements for your particular electronics to ensure a smooth customs clearance process. The classification of your electronics is also significant when it comes to customs regulations. Each product is assigned a harmonized system HS, code which determines the applicable duty rates and any additional requirements. Properly classifying your goods can help you determine the accurate duties and taxes to be paid. When importing electronics, it's important to keep in mind that additional fees and taxes may apply. Duties, taxes, and fees can vary depending on the country of origin and the specific product. It's advisable to consult with a customs broker or seek professional advice to understand the total cost of importing your electronics. Finally, it's crucial to work with a reliable customs broker who has expertise in handling electronics imports. A customs broker can assist you in navigating the complex customs regulations, ensuring compliance, and expediting the customs clearance process. They can also help you handle any issues that may arise during the import process. To sum it up, when importing electronics from Germany, make sure you obtain a customs bond, file an importer security filing ISF, understand the specific regulations for your electronics, classify your goods correctly, factor in applicable fees and taxes, and collaborate with a reputable customs broker. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into the customs regulations for importing electronics from Germany. Remember. Adhering to customs requirements is crucial for a seamless import process. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on international trade and customs brokerage. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our upcoming videos. Disclaimer note below. Until next time, take care.